Yeah, we have uh, Alp says in here from uh, via embedded platform division. Now that sounds rather complicated, but what it means is you have a bunch of chips and you put them in different sort of form factors and different sort of styles so you can fit them into anything from something the size of a bread box to something that's that's really really tiny, like the size, you know, almost of a uh, oh a matchbox or or a small case or something. And uh, what are you showing here? What is this? Basically, what we want to show to a lot of the consumers what they can do. Uh, they can have a same CPU and the same core logic. In this case, it's the CX seven hundred M two. Has a, it has it's an integrated chipset has a video capability and all the multimedia capability, which is the MPEG-2, uh, MPEG-4, and the WMV9 hardware acceleration that's built into it in three different form factors. So in this case, a customer can take this, develop their application, and use a setup box. They can do a composite component out, do an HD video uh, output to it. They can put all their video content, their music content. In essence, it could be a video recording device. It could be an audio uh, playback for your home entertainment system. That can be done with this simple Mini-ITX solution that uh, VEPD division uh, manufactures. Um, the next one is the nano board, which is the same core logic in the CPU. So in essence, all the software development that's done on this one can be ported on this one very easily, but in this case, it's not video centric, which is a, we, we, this one was more setup solution, and this one is more IO centric. So you can do uh, maybe a, a hard drive solution, a network attached storage device that you can put all your pictures and put it somewhere in the corner and secure all the data so that nobody else can look into them except you or your friends can look at them. The next one is the same chipset solution. And, and the core logic is the Pico ITX. And the difference between them, again, is the same core logic, same CPU. The Mini ITX is 17 by 17 centimeters. The Nano ITX is 12 by 12 centimeters. The Pico ITX is <laughs> seven, it's basically seven by 10 centimeters. So in essence, a bigger credit card size computer that can do a full functionality of a computer. So imagine, all the applications. You could put a system into your car. They can do a wireless solution. If you have, like in San Francisco, it's going to have free uh, internet access everywhere you go. Imagine your wife, your kid in the back, they want to browse the internet free. Just turn the computer on, go to your screen, and you can be able to browse the internet. Look it for a restaurant. You can put it into your, um, because it's a fanless, very quiet solution. You can put it into your kitchen, into your computer room. Uh, the, into your office and you'll be able to use it as a desktop as well or a Skype phone. So many, the applications are endless on what you can do in a small form factor like this. Yeah, so in essence though, the, what you're talking about here is just three different sizes, three different form factors serving different purposes, but each one of these is a full computer of, of, of the same power. Exactly, exactly. So in essence, three same computer in terms of performance wise that can be done in three different applications. Thank you, Alp. Alp Sazen from VIA.